Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be showing you how to set up a React application continuous deployment that is CD with GitHub Actions and using Firebase as a hosting service. So let's get started. Now before I start, here are some prerequisites which should be present in your system. Node and NPM, Firebase CLI and Git CLI. So at first I will create one React application using NPX Create React app. And then I will quickly enter into this project directory and I will initialize Firebase. So for that I have to write Firebase in it and here I have to select one feature. So I will select this hosting using space key and then I have to select one project. You can create one new project or choose one existing one. Here I am going to select one existing project and it will ask for your public directory write build here and press y to rewrite all the urls to index.html and select no for the automatic setup for github deployment and it will create one uh, dot firebase rc and firebase json into your project directory so you can see that this firebase directory consists of the project name and in firebase.json all your settings are there like uh, the public directory is a build and the destination is index.html now i will create one directory that is github and under the github i'll create another directory that is workflows and here uh, you have to create all the workflows so i will name the workflow as firebase hosting.yml here in this file i have to write the workflow for deployment so i'm naming the deployment workflow as firebase ci and on push to the main branch i will just perform some jobs so here i'm defining all the jobs so first comes build so for build i will uh, run the application on ubuntu latest and i will make one strategy for node version so i'm just uh, uh, making a strategy for matrix and node version for 15.x you can use multiple version of node version if you just want to do that and then i would write some steps and for that i would need some action from github marketplace so the first action i would need is uh, checkout and this checkout action actually checks out your repository under github workspace so that your workflow can access that repository so i will use that and then i will name one step as uh, use node.js version and i will get this version from this strategy that i have written earlier so i will write matrix dot node version and by default it will take the node version of 15.x uh, and then i would use other github action that is setup node and this action actually uh, provides the distribution of the requested node.js version and this node.js version is uh, optional you can uh, give the node.js version otherwise it takes the latest version and again i prefer the node version from the strategy then i will run npm install and then i will run npm install hyphen g firebase tools to install the firebase tools globally and then i will uh, just run the test all the tests is available in your react project and then i will build the project writing npm run build and i'm naming one step as archive build and for this archive build i will need one action again that is upload artifact and this uh, action actually downloads artifact from your build and then i will give the name and the path as build now i will go ahead with the next job that is deploy and i'm giving the name of this job as deploy and this deploy job actually needs the earlier job that is build so i'm referencing that and then uh, i will uh, run on this uh, deploy job on ubuntu latest same as the build job and then i would write some steps that is uh, this uses uh, one 
GitHub action that is checkout that I've just used in my previous job that is a build I would use the version of v2 you can also use the v3 version of checkout and then I would uh, write the name of the step as download build and it will use one uh, action that is download artifact you can check in github marketplace and then uh, I have to give this name and path which is build and then I will give other step name as deploy to firebase for that also I need one action from github marketplace you can search it with firebase action and you can filter it with the most downloaded action for github action for firebase so here I will use this one see if I just click on this use latest version it will uh, give me some piece of code I can just copy it and paste it here and I will use the master version of this so you can use the latest version whatever is mentioned there or the master version of this github action and then I will mention some args that is deploy only for hosting and uh, okay then I will need one environment so this environment should be the firebase secret key and I'm naming this environment as firebase token and it will refer to the secrets of the github and I have to set this firebase token inside the uh, github secrets so there is a process of getting the firebase token and setting into the github I will come to this later but let first uh, create one repository and post a code into this repository so here I am just creating one repository and I will simply add uh, everything from my project from my react project into this directory so I will initialize the git into this directory and add everything from there and commit with the message that first commit and change the branch name to main from master and add the origin and finally I will push to the main branch now if I go back to this page and refresh that I will see that all my code changes are there and then if I go to this actions tab in this repository I will see at the left all the workflows and here is my first commit and you can see the build is unsuccessful for some reason I think I have made some mistakes there okay so I have to just replace it with hyphen and then I will open this git bash and uh, update the workflow with one commit message that is a uh, updated workflow and push it to the branch main and you can notice one thing whenever you push any changes to this main branch uh, one workflow will automatically get triggered that is because you have one firebase hosting .yml file in your root directory now if I open this uh, latest workflow you can see that one job is completed but the deploy job is failed and I think this is because that firebase token issue so I have to provide that firebase token now it's time to generate the firebase token for that you have to open your terminal and write firebase login colon ci and it will generate one token and print that into your terminal now we have to copy that token and you have to go inside github and then secrets tab and then you will get one tab that is action and you have to create one new repository secret uh, and uh, paste it here and the name will be uh, the same as the env variable that I have written inside this yml file that is firebase token just copy and paste that and finally add that secret now since I wrote the workflow for pushing the code into the main branch only the workflow cannot be triggered in other ways I have to push some 
code changes into the main branch then only the workflow would get triggered so for that i would uh, just simply change the ui i will i will just add one paragraph tag here uh, i will uh, write something like this page is updated so that it is visible at the top now i will push the changes into the main branch writing one commit that is updated app.js okay now if i go to this action uh, i will see that uh, this workflow got triggered now if i open that uh, uh, i can see that the build is successful and also the deploy is successful now now if i open this deploy to firewall step i can see that the deployment is successful also the hosting url is there now if i click on this hosting url uh, the react project would be opened and here at the top you can see that this page is updated whatever i have just pushed right now so from now onwards i can simply push the changes to github main branch and it would be automatically deployed so thank you for watching please like this video if you found this helpful in case you are new to this channel please consider subscribing